All right, you two, the rules are, there are no rules. We're racing for pink. On your marks, get set. Good morning from Utah. So, I'm about two weeks away from baby time. We're so, so excited, so I've been spending a lot of time just getting ready and just spending our last few days as a family of four. Garrett and I both have a favorite photographer here in Utah. He shot some of Garrett's soccer pictures way back in the day. He did the shoot for us right before we had Manila and also the shoot for us right before we left on our trip. So, we wanted him to do a little photo shoot with us right before baby number three. Garrett actually has the kids up at Solitude right now. Hi, Mommy. Hi, Mommy. We're skiing. We're skiing. We're safe. Hi, Mommy. Hi, Mommy. We're doing good. We're doing good. Don't have a baby yet. Don't have a baby yet. We love Solitude. And we love taking the kids there. Oh, hey, hey, don't peek, don't peek. <laughs> it's a good one. You guys ready? Okay, you guys knock and I'll let you in, okay? Manila, you think you can jump across? I think. Okay, here comes Manila. Oh, yay! Yeah. Okay, here comes Manila. Oh, yay! Yeah. Here comes Manila. Oh, yay! Yeah. Here comes Manila. Oh, yay! Yeah. Here You can read it. One of my favorite things about Solitude is the ski school. It really is just perfect how they do it for the little kids. When you're teaching your kids how to ski, the last thing you want them is to hate it and to resent it and not want to go back. But they do such a good job where they'll take the kids out for an hour or so, then they'll bring them up, back, get some hot chocolate, play with toys, watch a show, then they'll take them back out with them some runs, and the kids just love it. There's our little girl. That's my daughter in the water Everything she knows I taught her Everything she knows When we said goodbye to Dorothy in the morning, she and her instructor went up the chairlift and we saw them coming down and he was literally like carrying her, like just kind of holding her up and she was kind of doing whatever with her skis. By the end of the day when we picked her up, Garrett met her at the top of the lift and saw her coming off the lift. Dorothy, is that you? Yeah. What's up? And all of a sudden, he, Garrett kind of freaked out because he didn't, 
he wasn't holding her, he wasn't helping her. But then the next thing he knew, Dorothy got off the lift all by herself, what? skied around, went down the hill, what? all by herself. When did this happen? <laughs> this is so fun to see. Can I kiss? Hey, can I watch you a little bit? Yeah? Okay. Oh my gosh. Good one, Dorothy. <laughs> what up, Dorothy? <laughs> Is that not scary? Is it fun or scary? Are you serious? Here's the chance. Keep going, buddy. You're doing good. Woohoo! Awesome, Manila. Okay, here he comes. So brave. <laughs> yeah! Manila, good job. Good job, buddy. Good job. Good job, buddy. Good job. I'm so proud of you. You want a what? You want a hot chocolate? Yeah. I bet a little hot chocolate and then we'll do some more skiing. Good plan? Yeah, high five. What do you do if you fall down? Get up. Get up. <laughs> Get back up. Sunny sky, so shiny and blue, and there's a butterfly. Well, isn't that a super fantastic sign? It's gonna be a fantastic day. Three, two, one. All right, last run. You ready for this?
You know what's the question? The question is, what's mom smuggling under there? <laughs> A whole lot of something. What is it? Baby! And what's the baby's name? Uh, lesson to the wise. Don't go in the hot tub first, because then it's only downhill from there. For sure, get in the pool first. Let me, let me make sure it's not like scalding, okay? Wait till you see me give you the thumbs up sign, okay? Then you can come out. Just wait, Mina, Mina. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I'm not showing any of this. I'm not gonna let you put any of that in. Here, I'll do it from further away so you look tiny. <laughs> okay, guys. Swim to mom. Here is the weightless woman. On your mark, get set, go. Pull her dip, pull her dip, go Minnow, go. Sit in it. Go back. <laughs> So we've all been very anxiously awaiting the arrival of baby number three. Dorothy, probably most of all, has a full-on countdown. We're so, so excited to meet him. So Garrett and I always have a hard time choosing a name because we don't quite agree. But we've come to a decision and we're really excited to share it with you. We'll share it with you later this week. We've just been a little bit nervous. It's always nervous when you put something kind of personal out there, something that means a lot to you. So it's been really fun to have a little bit more of a schedule lately. Dorothy and Manila are both in preschool and they love it. Dorothy is in dance and gymnastics and Manila is in gymnastics. I am so impressed with these kids and how quickly they have just gone in. I cannot imagine going into a dance class full of my peers and strangers that I do not know and just busting a move. But out of everything that Dorothy does, out of all the brave moments she has, that impresses me the most when she just does not care what anybody else thinks, wants to make friends and wants to be who she is and just busts a move. It is so cute. So a few months ago, we had the incredible opportunity to work with Devin Grant or Devin Supertrip. His YouTube can be found here and he is just the best of the best. Devin Graham does nothing small. So it just so happened to be a very beautiful afternoon last fall and we were all here in Utah and it worked out perfectly and we got together with our good friend York. 
or I Fly Heli, and he's amazing. And he took us on an epic adventure. And when I say epic adventure, He wants to have his Walter Mitty moment. I don't know Walter! I got the other boat! The little boat! So Garrett decides to have his Walter Mitty moment and jump out of a helicopter. The most impressive thing was that Dorothy did it with him. She's so, so brave. I think she was a little bit nervous about how cold the water was gonna be. Not that she was like jumping from like eight feet, but that she was gonna jump into some cold water. But she did so good. It was so fun to watch. I wish I could have done it with him. Manila, when he saw the video, he's like, I want to do it. I want to do it. So it's so fun just seeing these kids be inspired by each other and by their dad and try new things. It's really, really fun. Thank you, York and Devin, for such an incredible afternoon. Thank you to your whole team who helped put this amazing piece together. As soon as I watched it the other night, I turned to Garrett and said, this is the nicest thing anybody has ever given us. We've told our story a variety of different ways and to have an artist like Devin put this together and really put it together better than we ever could have is so special. We're so, so grateful for this. If you would have showed me these videos and pictures 10 years ago, I would have never believed you. It's not easy, but it's definitely been the most rewarding experience ever. Social media is tough. And at the beginning when you're small, it's kind of embarrassing because you're trying to do something big, but you're following a small, you look small. I hope you'll keep watching because it's just gonna get better from here. But, but you gotta start somewhere, and so it's, it's props to those people that are willing to put themselves out there, be embarrassed for a bit, and work their way up. My advice would be that it takes some getting used to. I was definitely one who was in much need of a thicker skin. And now I've grown, not necessarily immune, but now I know who I am, I know what I believe, and it doesn't matter what anybody else says, even though, like, I've made myself really vulnerable and people have said some mean things, but I'm like grateful that I feel more sure of myself and my family and what we're doing, the decisions we make. Go check out his channel here and also check out York and his awesome helicopter content. Time for baby number three is super quickly approaching and uh, also our 100th video is coming up. I remember when we first decided to travel and Garrett decided he wanted to make a, a YouTube vlog. It wasn't supposed to be anything super duper special. Initially, Garrett wanted these videos to be like two or three minutes, just a few like pictures or clips from like that week and, and that's it. But things have evolved and it has almost been 100 weeks. I cannot tell you how grateful I am for Garrett and his hard work that he does this for our family. I think he deserves a break. And I know he's considered taking a little bit of a break after 100, after baby, just so we can have a little bit more time to ourselves. But we'll just see what Garrett decides to do after baby comes in a few weeks. I hope you'll tune in next week because video 99 is going to be awesome. We have so much amazing footage from people all over the world and we're putting it all together for you. It's going to be really cool. Bye.